Good morning, everyone. I am coming to you today from the town of Countryside, Illinois. It is at this location where we will begin the annual Route 66 motor tour. Uh, this year, it's starting from Illinois Harley-Davidson and Countryside. It's actually on Route 66. They need to freshen this up, but... So the Route 66 Motor Tour is a two-day extravaganza. Uh, it's Saturday morning now. It's not over until uh, at some point on Sunday. So when you register and pay the fee for the Motor Tour, uh, they give you a passport book, which shows you all the locations of this year's Motor Tour. The first stop today is going to be in Gardner, Illinois, uh, which is about 62 miles away. So they expect us to be in Gardner? Is that what this is? Yeah. That's like the first stop stop? Yeah, or it looks like it. So this just tells you about shit on the way? Yeah, things to see. So I thought they had Wilmington listed on here on the, on the registration sheet. We can't stop here? No. One time they had us do a drive through. The first one, I, the first one that was out of here five years ago. Yeah. Had us drive through the main gate of Stateville up to the secondary gate and then turn around and then leave. Let's take a moment to recognize Old Glory waving in the breeze as she should. Now we're heading, uh, it looks like in a westerly direction on Route 66. It's also known as Joliet Road here. Uh, we're just crossing LaGrange Road. Uh, the first stop, as previously mentioned, is in uh, Gardner, Illinois, but we're gonna stop in Wilmington at the launching pad uh, to check that out because that's always uh, one of the places uh, that's pretty cool to stop at on Route 66. So unfortunately, right after the ride begins, uh, you're on one of two uh, sections where you're going to be forced on I-55. Uh, so that's what we're on right now. So this technically is Route 66 here, kind of, sort of. But luckily, our, uh, our ride on I-55 here is only going to be uh, maybe seven or eight minutes from where we're at right now. So that's good. So we made a quick stop here in Juliet at uh, the Kicks on 66, Rich and Creamy on Broadway. They have the uh, Blues Brothers statues up there. And they have some signage over this way that we're gonna check out.
All right, so just another quick stop here, this time at Dick's on 66. It looks like they have a section of original Route 66 roadway right here. Just another one of the several Blues Brothers references on the northern end of Route 66. It's got a cop motor, a 440 cubic inch plant. It's got cop tires, cop suspension, cop shocks. It's a model made before catalytic converters, so it'll run good on regular gas. Okay, so we've made it to Wilmington, Illinois here on Route 66. Uh, the Gemini Giant is one of those iconic things you will see on Northern Route 66. Okay, a little further south on Route 66, you'll run into uh, the Polka Dot Drive-In uh, here in Braidwood. We got some statues here that are worth checking out.
Welcome to Gardner, Illinois. Uh, this is the first passport stop of the day. Okay, so at the first passport stop in Gardner, uh, right down there is the shop. That's where we just were. Then we rode down to the jail here. At this passport stop, the Gardner complex, the shop, the jail, the streetcar, and uh, Reverend Christensen's display, which is this right here. Let's check out the jail here. Built in 1906. Press button for message. I don't know if that did anything. Welcome to Gardner, Illinois. We're happy that you've taken the time to visit and explore these unique and one-of-a-kind pieces of Route 66 folklore. Welcome to Dwight, Illinois. Uh, we decided to stop here on our way down to the uh, Route 66 Hall of Fame Museum in Pontiac. This is another one of those spots to stop. Okay, so a little map update here. Uh, we started right here in Countryside at the Harley dealership, and we've made our way all the way down uh, past Gardner. Now we're in Dwight. So the motor tour ends for the day uh, down here in Lincoln, which is uh, through uh, Lexington, Tawanda, Bloomington Normal area, uh, and it ends for the day here. And then tomorrow it picks up right here and uh, continues all the way down to Stoughton. Along the trail, you'll find several of these little kiosk things.
welcome to Odell, Illinois. Uh, we decided to pull over here at this uh, standard station. Further down Route 66, come across the town of Cayuga, Illinois. Uh, there's a turnout here, uh, which leads to some old Route 66 road. And then uh, the roadside attraction part of this stop is the Miramac Caverns. So we stopped at the Log Cabin Inn for a quick lunch before we make our way to uh, the downtown Pontiac area. Welcome to Pontiac, Illinois. Uh, this is the next stop for the ride today. The area I'm standing right now is basically behind the Hall of Fame Museum. Uh, right here is an extremely popular spot to take a picture of your motorcycle or your car, or in our case last year, our e-bikes, uh, right in front of the big uh, mural here.
quick note here. Uh, there is, in fact, a small Route 66 bike trail that goes through Chinoa. So if you're interested in checking out that bike trail, click the info card above. Welcome to Lexington, Illinois. It's at this point, uh, south of Pontiac, you'll run into uh, Lexington, and uh, they have an original section of Route 66 here that they call Memory Lane, which is down this way here. Just a quick note here, there is a small Route 66 bike trail that goes through Lexington, and I did make a video on this last year. If you are interested in checking out that video, click the info card above. Another note here, just like in Chinoa and Lexington, Tawanda also has a Route 66 bike trail that runs through it. If you're interested in checking out what that trail looks like, go ahead and click that info card above. Okay, so we've made our way to normal Illinois now, uh, just for a quick map update here. Again, we started up here in countryside and now we're all the way down here. The fourth section of the Route 66 bike trail that we rode last year runs from Bloomington to Funks Grove. If you're interested in checking out that trail, click the info card above. Welcome to Funks Grove, Illinois. 
So it's at this point, we're at the midpoint on Route 66 uh, between where it starts in Chicago and uh, where it ends at the Mississippi River, ends in Illinois, that is. So it looks like this place is still open till uh, 5 p.m. So we got ourselves a little time, seeing it's almost 4.30. Uh, so we're gonna stop at the Funks Grove Maple Syrup place. You might actually remember this location from one of my Route 66 bike routes uh, that I did last year when we were out in this area. Traveling Route 66? Yeah, we're on the motor tour. Oh, you're with the motor tour? Okay, yeah. yeah. Welcome to Atlanta, Illinois. Uh, it is at this point on Route 66 where you could uh, drive down an old section of it and there's uh, one of those kiosk things at the end. And then uh, just make your way back through. At this point on the trail, it's right next to railroad track.
Okay, well that's it for day one of the Route 66 motor tour. So we just pulled off of Route 66 to make our way to our hotel for the night. Good morning, everybody. I am coming to you today from day two of the Route 66 motor tour. Uh, right here, we are in Lincoln, Illinois. Uh, we're right at the Postville Courthouse here on Route 66. I believe there are six stops today on the motor tour, uh, the first one being here. The next stop after Lincoln is Elkhart, Illinois, and then we're gonna make our way to Springfield. It looks like we're at a possible risk of severe weather today. There are severe uh, thunderstorm warnings going on in the area. So hopefully uh, we won't be affected too much by that. Another place to check out when you're doing Route 66 and you're in Lincoln, Illinois, is the mill. They are not open on Sundays, just as an FYI, so they're closed currently. Currently in Elkhart, Illinois, here on Route 66. Stopped at a train crossing. There's some slow train coming. Welcome to Elkhart, Illinois. Uh, the rain finally stopped. It was uh, coming down uh, pretty bad for a little while here. Uh, so for the motor tour, they have a couple of the shops open on this Sunday morning, uh, which normally wouldn't be open in some cases.
quick pass where that black and yellow wreath is, and there's another room back there. Oh, oh well, that's where we're heading next. That's where we're headed. when given an opportunity let's take a moment to recognize old glory uh, there's definitely no breeze right now but standing proudly nonetheless p-o-w-m-i-a not forgotten never forget Okay, so our next stop on our journey uh, in a southwesterly direction would be uh, Williamsville. Looks like they got some original cement. You should also be aware that there's a webcam up there. I'll put the URL up on the screen, uh, but you can uh, take a screenshot of yourself from this location with this sign here. So as you can see, we're back on I-55 here. Uh, it's the second of two stretches where Route 66 is forced to go on I-55 until we get off at exit 105. Welcome to Springfield, Illinois. Uh, we're right here at Cozy Dogs. Unfortunately, they are closed on Sundays. But uh, we do have the ability to do our first map check of the day. So uh, to go over yesterday, again, we started in Countryside at the Harley dealership, uh, Harley Davidson dealership up here. We made our way all the way down to Lincoln and Lincoln's where we spent the night. And today we started in Lincoln, uh, made our way through uh, Broadwell and Elkhart. We stopped in Williamsville. Uh, now we're currently in Springfield on our way down to Staunton. It ends at Staunton today.
Okay, so uh, we made our way to uh, lunch, which uh, today's lunch was at Motorheads. Looks like they got a lot of stuff to look at here. Old vehicles, bunch of old signs, some cool stuff on the inside. As you've seen on the time warp, uh, this section of uh, Route 66 is uh, brick. Goes for about a couple miles, I think about a half mile more down this way. This is the 1926 to 1930 alignment.
right, so next up on the motor tour, we're in Girard, Illinois, uh, right here at Whirlawhip. It's one of the places here on the motor tour for this year. Uh, apparently they have uh, like over 40 flavors of ice cream, so I'm looking forward to trying the bubblegum ice cream. Okay, so the next stop on the motor tour in Gillespie, Illinois, is the Illinois Coal Museum at Gillespie. Okay, so we made it to Decamp Station here. Uh, we're in Stoughton, Illinois. This is the official end of the motor tour for 2022. Uh, Route 66 continues along this way, eventually making it across the Mississippi River into Missouri. So 
So if you guys enjoyed this content, this non-biking related content, uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, I was going to shoot a video for this anyway, but I wasn't 100% sure if I was going to put it on my YouTube channel. And then if so, if I was going to have it listed or not. And incidentally, there is in fact a bike trail here. Not sure what its name is or how long or short it is, but there is in, pa in fact a paved bike trail here goes as far as the eye can see down this way and then uh, the bike route continues on this road here for a while and then must turn right because we saw the bike path further down that way near the railroad tracks. Mm -hmm.